As we prepare for Best Actor and Best Actress Award, I'd like to take just a minute to uh, uh, give a quick thanks to our makeup artists. Um, we have some amazing makeup artists. As a matter of fact, unless they've pulled it, you'll see in one of these next upcoming clips how they made me look 10, 20 pounds heavier. So, uh, <laughs> and now on to the people in front of the camera, the awards for Best Actor and Best Actress of 1994. <laughs> Presenting the award for Best Actress and Best Actor are Deanne Ruxroth from Cornell College and John Caponera, star of the NBC sitcom The Good Life. Iowa's acting community has become an important part of the growth of our industry. The Best Actor Award is given for the best acting performance by an Iowa actor in a project primarily produced in Iowa. The nominees for Best Actor are... Greg Anderson, The boy. Best Evidence. Just Grednick's lawyer just called. He's claiming a neck injury. Well, who? Looks like these statements are going to end up saving our butts on this one. Eddie Nickerson, The Lethian. Your hair it used to be different. Where did you go? Doug Holly. It's a wonderful life with farm data. So how does it feel to be part of the most brilliant farming team in North America? Brilliant? Hey, what do you mean? Did we or did we not have our very best year ever? Marty Ellenberger, the Lethian. And I know why you're here. But you can forget it. I have won. Michael Cornelison. Oh, Sexual harassment in the workplace. Yes, what? I've got reservations at the French Quarter for Thursday. <laughs> I gotta remember that line. <laughs> I don't think it would work. <laughs> okay. And the award goes to. Doug Holly, it's a wonderful life. Oh. <laughs> sure, but where did the brilliance come in? Well, what do you mean? I'm the fourth Stevenson in the farm this land. You're a fifth generation farmer. We are one incredible team. I'm not so sure those were the only reasons. Oh no? Well, how did we have such a good year then? I think it was farm data. <laughs> what? I think the big difference between this year and last year was the information we accessed through farm data. Oh, come on. It's a nice tool to have around, but it's just a machine. It, just because it was your idea. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. I told you I want to try to get on the good life, so. Uh, thank you very much. This, this means a lot. And uh, Wendell, you're a dog, OK? Just for. Uh, You'd think as a host, he'd, he'd slip you a hint or something? No, no, he didn't do that. Thank you. Um, this means a lot. Thanks a lot. Are we off now? Are we still off? No, I think we got one more. I don't have any Yeah, go ahead. The Best Actress Award is given for the best performance by an Iowa actress in a project produced primarily in Iowa. The nominees for Best Actress are... Kimberly Busby, Did The you know? Best Evidence. Need anything else? Only for you to do the questioning, Lou. Oh, that'd be good. I wouldn't know where to start. Tanya Mishler, oh, don't me up on The me. Best I'm Evidence. Sorry, Nick. You're right. I did cause the accident, but I didn't see you coming. <laughs> Monica Fromm, right Summer Song. Mom, what are you saying? The troubles you had as a baby, the problems with learning and remembering, the fights at school. Jessica Gowdy, The Lethian. How do you know my name? I asked you to kill me, don't you remember? But that was just... That was a dream. We have to be Carrie Borchardt, Please lives. Don't Hurt the Baby. Why is that, Susan? Because everything we put in our bodies goes right to our baby. Good. And the award goes to Kimberly Busby, the best evidence. Yeah, right, Nick, it's 
that easy. Well, you, you gotta take your time. Ask open-ended questions and listen to what they have to say. Now that's the key. You have to have your ears open so as you can come up with good follow-up questions. Well, I think I'll pass this time, Nick. But thanks for the offer. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> And thanks for the award. Uh, I'm still in character. I sometimes slip back into that. Thank you very much to Farm Bureau and especially to John Soliday, the creative genius behind this project. We had a great time. And thank you to the Film Awards and to everyone here for coming. Let's make more movies. Thanks to the whole team and the best evidence, the production team and all of the actors that made it a wonderful experience. Goodbye. Presenting the awards for Best Entertainment Programming are Scott McKay of Great Plains Recording and Linda Cook of the Quad City Times. Uh, as another uh, little-known actor in a recording studio, uh, brand new recording studio, I'm gonna add, in the state of Iowa, part of that, Great Plains Recording Studio. It's my pleasure to present the award for this year's entertainment program. You know, it's amazing every year to see all the talent out in this room, and I'm sure that after tonight's festivities, there's gonna be even more people here next year. And now the nominees for Outstanding Entertainment Programming are... Family Fun Zone, Dan Nanny, KDSM Fox 17. Are you ready to have some fun? Let me hear you say yeah! yeah! Alone in the Dark, Don Thompson, Echo International Incorporated. Okay, okay, okay. Did you hear something? Like a big stick break? It's just your guilty conscience. Blood A, broadcast across America. Bill Anderson, KGAN TV. Some television and radio stations coast to coast and beyond. We present Flood A. Live from Cell Block C, Mo Olas review the movies. And Lee Schweitzer and Annie Garvey, Lamdrak Classics Productions. And we review the movies. And have we got a question for you? Have you seen a decent proposal? <laughs> And the winner is Alone in the Dark. Thank you very much. Um, without a good screenplay, you build your movie on quicksand. And uh, this young lady over here wrote an, a phenomenal screenplay, and I just uh, want to thank her for that because I think that was the basis of a good film. Uh, I want to acknowledge uh, Preferred Risk. I brought this out just in case. I really wasn't sure we we're going to get to use this. But Preferred Risk, Bob Plunk, Vicki Christian, and Phyllis Schrammick, Dave Meisner, president of Echo Communications, Kebby for a terrific script. Uh, Judy Johns, uh, an, an incredible talent uh, uh, coordinator and, and, and coach. She's just wonderful. Brad Morford for a terrific job as a director of photography um, and his fantastic crew. Todd Hyde, uh, one of the most phenomenal editors we've ever worked with, and we've worked with some really good ones out on the West Coast. ITC staff, Wendell Jarvis and Paul Frank, Kathy Nichols of the Iowa Film Commission, and for those who voted for the project. Thank you. The most wonderful thing about film is it's so collaborative, and you can't make a good picture without a good production crew, ITC, and you can't make a good picture without sound. Um, I want to thank Jamie Polson for his wonderful score, and Mike Lawyer at SNR Recording for his wonderful sound, and thank you very much. Presenting the award for Best Feature, or for television, film, or series, is Joan Bucky with the Des Moines Register and Pauletta Longo with WOI TV.
Hello, Joan. Hello. You know, like our fr friend Doug over here, um, I too have an idea for a feature film. And uh, I think probably I could serve as screenplay writer. The governor may even be interested in directing this drama. And I think probably the only place, the only appropriate place to film it would be here in Iowa. It's called, perhaps you've heard about it, The Saga of the Sale of WOI. <laughs> I think it would be a good one. Well, possibly, possibly not. Uh, in any case. <laughs> one star, two stars, five stars. <laughs> We'll uh, consider it when I see it. <laughs> uh, more than 50 feature films uh, made for television movies and television programs have been produced in all parts of Iowa uh, since early 1935. The Feature Film or Television Film or Series Award is given for a feature-length film or video or a TV series produced for th theatrical or television release with major portions of the production work done here in Iowa. The nominees for Outstanding Feature or Television Film or Series are... Shimmer, Peter Deegan, producer. That anything happens at all is a miracle. Or maybe it isn't. But what happened that night changed my life. The Woman Who Loved Elvis, Joan Barnett, producer. You certainly have Elvis's whole life here, don't you? Young and old. Well, he never got to be old, did he? He died when he was only 42. I'm going to be 42. The Lethian. Dan Munt and Munt Producers. And the award goes to Shimmer Peter Deegan, Producer. watched the day begin, we heard the birds sing. All around us, on all sides, was the free world. The air smelled different. The sound sounded different. Cars started to move below. All kinds of cars. People were coming out of their houses and getting into them. It takes a lot of people to make a feature film, and on behalf of all of them involved in Shimmer, I'd like to thank the Iowa Film Awards. This is a film that uh, wasn't only shot in Iowa, it's a story about Iowa. It was written by an Iowan playwright called John O'Keefe, who I think is probably one of America's best living playwrights, and one of the main actors in it, or actresses in it, was Mary Beth Hurd, who uh, like Gene Seberg and John O'Keefe, um, was a graduate of Marshalltown High School and an alumni of the University of Iowa, where John O'Keefe is now a visiting professor. I'd also like to thank all of the other Iowans who made this film possible in a very real sense, because this was a film which was shot for a very low budget, probably what in Hollywood be, would be considered chump change. And we got a lot of help from the Iowa Film Office. We were allowed to shoot at some state facilities, the uh, Iowa Juvenile Home in Tamer, where the story of Shimmer actually took place back in 1956 in the State Home for Boys in Eldora. And I'd also like to thank the people of Tamer and Toledo in particular, um, who were unstintingly generous in their support for us, and without whose generosity we literally couldn't have made Shimmer. And uh, in the words of John O'Keefe, things happen, that anything happens is a miracle, or maybe it isn't, and thanks for this one. <laughs> Presenting the awards for Lights, Camera, Action and Movie Mogul of the Year. Our Rich Eichner, Chairman of Movies to Go, and Wendell Jarvis, Manager of the Iowa Film Office. Hi, Wendell. Hi, Rich. Good night tonight. It sure is. It's going well. 
The Movies to Go Iowa Film Awards were conceived as a means to recognize and foster excellence in film and video production in Iowa. We are pleased that entries this year came from grade school students all the way to veteran filmmakers. And speaking of veteran filmmakers, I'm going to depart just a little bit from the script. I got a fax today from uh, a friend and director, Pupi Avati, the Italian filmmaker that has made six motion pictures in Iowa. And it's from the Festival International du Film Cannes. And Poopy has been invited to be one of the premier judges of the Cannes Film Festival for the 37th Annual Film Festival this, uh, coming up this May. Conse uh, coincidentally, the chairman of that committee is Clint Eastwood. And many of you that have been reading the papers know that Clint Eastwood is being considered for a role in the film The Bridges of Madison County. And Poopy's going to be talking to him about his great experiences filming in Iowa. Is that an announcement, Wendell? Not yet, but we'll be soon. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Wendell. The Movie Mogul of the Year Award is presented to an individual Iowan who has provided outstanding service or promotional effort for the film and video industry. The Movie Mogul of the Year Award this year is presented to the founder and president of American Media Incorporated, Arthur Bauer. Arthur Bauer conceptualized the idea of starting his own film training company during his seven-year career with Batten, Batten, Hudson, and Zwab in the mid-1970s. In 1977, Art left his position of vice president to start his own company, American Media Incorporated. From 16 millimeter film to videotape, from films and movies to focus on corporate video-based training products, from two employees to 90, AMI has met the needs of trainers throughout the United States and in 57 other countries, as well as providing custom video productions. With Art's guidance, AMI has won over 60 prestigious honors in the world film and video market for its propensity videos, as well as custom productions. Art is one of the world's leading producers and distributors of corporate and motivational how-to training videos. Ladies and gentlemen, Art Bauer. taller than those grade schoolers. Well, just want to share a few quick thoughts with you. I want to thank, uh, thank uh, you, Wendell and Rich, and the Iowa Film Awards and Movies to Go for this great evening. And I appreciate the opportunity to uh, receive this award. And you know, out of all of the things that we do at American Media, I can guarantee you the thing that I'm most proud of is not the video that we produce and not a lot of other things, but the most important thing are the people. I think we've got 90 of the greatest people in the business and we worked hard to, uh, to get them. And one of the reasons people say, why are you in Iowa? And I always answer with one important question and that is basically that Iowa has got great people. We're 13 months ahead of any other state educationally. Uh, we've got people with a very strong work ethic and we're very caring people. Uh, American media doesn't just produce videos. We, uh, you know, a lot of companies have a mission statement. We have, that sounds rather military, uh, we have a purpose statement. Let me just share with you briefly what that is. We produce and market intellectual property that helps people to become more effective in their personal and professional lives. The last six years we've been fortunate enough to grow at some, uh, a little over a 20% compounded rate thanks to the great people that we have at American Media. And once again, thank you very much, everyone, uh, for this great award. I do appreciate it.